FES1 International Reviews Scam or Legit? Okay folks, welcome to yet another interesting review video on this channel. Today, we're going to look at another fastest and newest growing e-commerce company, FES1 International. If you're following us on this channel, we did review some e-commerce businesses with similar features known as Chimol, Stick Exchange, and High Life LLC. Do well to check out those videos. In this video, we shall discuss the evolutionary journey of FES1 International, highlighting with unbiased disposition possible red flags and taking a stand as we normally do on review videos on this channel. The review we center on background, CEO, longevity, and sustainability. Company registration according to whois.com. Review with scamdog.com and scamadvice.com. Social media presence, company products, compensation plan, conclusion. Now, let's get started. Background information about FES1 International. FES1 International is a trading company that is mainly dedicated to providing import and export services for the Thai jewelry industry and promoting the international development of the jewelry industry. Its headquarters is in Thailand, Chiang Mai. It's an e-commerce platform that is just like Alibaba, Kiku, Jump, eBay, and Amazon, but is purely dedicated to selling jewelry made from jade. The acronym FES stands for Fast Efficiency and Sustainability. The company adopts the new retail and auction business model. If you also take a look at the company's website, you will observe that the company has been joining e-commerce products, which are mainly jewelry made from jade precious gem. Apart from the new retail and auction business model, which has a touch of MLM scheme, they have a regular e-commerce store. Don't forget to give this video a like as it helps this channel tremendously. Moving on, here is the overview of what the company entails. In FES1, you are not selling anything. You buy products and the company sells for you on little commission and your profit jobs together with your capital after 10 days in which you can now trade again. The payment is a one-time payment and the trading capital is refundable. FES1 has no lockup fund. Your profit and capital drop after the expiration of your 10 days trade. On your first trade, the company gives you a product depending on the package you register. The products given to you are for you to use and if you're a good marketer, you can also sell to make more money. In this business, you don't need to invite anyone before you start making money every 10 days, but you're likely to make more money by recruiting people. You're not under any pressure to sell any market as the company sells for you. You can withdraw profits through bank, P2P or Bitcoin. Bitcoin withdrawal drops every 5 hours. Let's look at the potential longevity of FES1 International Company. FES International Trading Group was founded in 2015. The company was registered on the 27th of August 2020 according to whois.com. It will expire on the 27th of August 2024. According to the website, the company started in 2015 which is virtually 6 years of existence. How how come it's not corporately registered to be captured by the Hoist website until 2020? Some argument from some quarters has it that the company has not been fully launched. The question remains that even if the new retail and auction business part of the company is yet to be launched as purported, what of the e-commerce aspect that has been around since 2015? We think that this disparity is not ideal and it rises an eyebrow at the originality and invariably the sustainability of the business. Although the life expectancy span of the company's website as captured by whois.com is 4 years which is commendable. Iris is currently the CEO of FES and she has a professional MBA in financial management from Columbia University. She had 10 years of experience working at a reputable jewelry corporation as a deputy CEO. Her internet presence is not obscured. That is a credit to the company too. 
company registration according to Hoist.com. As stated previously, Hoist.com captured the FES1 International website, FESInternationalTrading.com, to be registered on the 27th August 2020 and is due to expire on the 27th of August 2024, which is four years of domain longevity. Huge credit to the platform by this standard. Review with scamadvisor.com and scamdog.com. Scamadvisor.com rated the site www.fesinternationaltrading.com with a trust score of 61%, warning that only a small risk is identified and users of the site should be cautious. Also, scamdog.com rated the site low with a trust score of 8%, warning that users should be wary of the site that the creation of the domain name is rather risky. This to me is a red flag. Companies Products FES1 International has a range of products. FES focuses on designing, manufacturing and selling jade products and exporting them to global markets. They mainly sell jade products with various vendors to provide their customers with a variety of jade products. Once you register, you're going to get products worth your registration amount. This is a huge credit for the company as affiliates can have access to some products which is somewhat commensurate to the amount they invested in the business. Social Media Presence A quick look at all the social media icons on the site shows that they have a prolific social media presence. They're present on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. Their social media presence is another huge credit to the platform in our humble submission compensation plans. The company has three investment packages for now, VIP 1, 2 and 3. Here are the summarized investment and compensation plan. VIP 1 total pack costs $126. VIP 2 total package costs $252. VIP 3 total pack costs $784. VIP 4, 5, 6, 7 to be launched soon. Conclusion Is FES1 legit or a scam? They are really good size to this business model. The company has products and services that are of huge credibility. Again, the company's business model of new retail and auction is pretty new for investors to experiment with. There are huge red flags that need not to be ignored, such as low trust scores from scamdog.com and the fact the business has an MLM concept in its model. We have seen the likes of Chimo and Stick Exchange, which we reviewed on this channel, having problems months ago in paying their affiliates bonuses. They went to the extent of asking affiliates to upgrade their investment packages before they would be paid. That's the problem with the pyramid scheme. So, on a scale of 1 to 100, we will give FES1 International a score of 60%. It is paying its affiliates for now. If you did make it to the end of this video, we salute you. Check out our video on Chimo, Stick Exchange and High Life LLC. They all have the same business model and are still paying their affiliates. Don't forget to like and share this video with someone who may need it. We will see you guys in the next video. Cheers!